What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is 6 p.m. on Saturday and uh, I am hoping that EA are going to have given us some new content for today. I decided to open a 50k pack to kick things off today and it's going to be Vlahovic. Juve are playing at the moment as well actually. I don't know what the score is. Ooh, an informing there as well. And uh, I'm hoping that we're going to get some good content today. Generally speaking, Saturdays are pretty poor days for content. Oh, is that all I had left? Um, yeah, generally speaking, Saturdays are pretty poor days for content. Um, but hopefully today, EA are going to give us something good. This is the last pack that we're going to be able to open. It is going to be... Is that David? No, it's Unai Simon. I thought it was going to be David Haya. Sometimes you get a walkout out of those ones. Sometimes you don't. Oh, Spina. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Hopefully your foot champs is going well. Mine isn't. I'm actually... Uh, struggling with fifa since the new patch came out not to make excuses but something changed and, and it's i just can't get to grips with it i'm genuinely just bad at the game at the moment and this is the the first time in probably about four or five probably since fifa 18 that i felt incapable of playing and that is new to me so i've got a lot of grinding to do a lot of a way to go right let's have a look if ea given us anything no active event um unbelievably no new objectives i thought we would have got a little something from that to be fair first owner fiesta back or was it already there no it's, it's already there uh milestones nothing new in milestones and never anything new in foundations um let's have a little look at moments and see uh if we've got anything new in moments no i'm really a bit disappointed that ea have done nothing with the moments side of things right um nothing in here either uh, no 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 seasonal packs or anything so we'll see how what they do throughout the year with that but that's definitely some area that they could improve a little bit so uh yeah no, nothing nothing in moments sbc's is what's next we've got david alaba the rule breakers i have got him favorite already i did know it was here because it was okay it's a few minutes past six but that's all i saw and then i, I was doing something else so i've only just started recording We've got the position modifier upgrade again. This one is repeatable five times, but every two days and it expires in 12 days. That's really good because position modifiers were creeping up to almost 3,000 coins today. Uh, this will most likely see them crash back down into like the 1,500, even 1,000 coin mark. And this SBC is in general just brilliant because it's one bronze player or one any player for a position modifier. So even if you get like a duplicate gold that's untradeable, pop it in here, get a position modifier for quote unquote free. And job done. Uh, Valverde, Gakpo, Kim Min J, and then that stuff that's a bit pointless. Man, I saw hybrid leagues. I got I had a little flower of the heart. I thought it was league SBCs. It's not. It's not. Um, so we have got the David Alaba SBC. He is here. Uh, I can't see what it is. I can't see. I knew. I knew. I knew it was coming because Sheriff had like tweeted it and stuff. But you can't actually see what it is. We can see the price of what it is, and that is going to be. One squad with a Real Madrid player, an 86 or overall rated player, and 84 rating. An 85 rated squad with a team of the week and a La Liga player. An 86 rated squad with a team of the week and an 87 rated squad with an 88 rated player in the team. I know that this is quite expensive. Is it there for a week or so? It's there for six days, which is six days, 23 hours and whatever. So it's there for a whole week. And so if you are going to complete this SBC... You have got two two sets of foot champs rewards for this. You'd obviously have to get your Friday, Saturday foot champs games in early to be able to complete this for next weekend and this weekend's foot champs rewards. A set of rivals rewards, a set of champs qualifiers rewards, and a set of squad battles rewards all to put towards this on top of all the other stuff that comes. So you will easily be able to complete this SBC if you wanted this one SBC, as, as well as like being able to trade and stuff. But the question is, 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 is this David Alaba any good? And the ones I saw, we've got this one here with good pace, good defending, good physical. And then this one here with good pace, great defending, a good physical. I think, off, without looking at in game sets, I think this David Alaba is going to be the one for me. Because I really like the be better defending. Now, one thing that I wanted to know was, do these guys have... So they're three-star, three-star, medium, medium, and three-star, four-star. Okay, three-star, four-star, medium, medium, three-star, four-star, and medium, medium. The thing that's really sad is they could have made one of them a left back as well as a centre back and the other one a DM and centre mid as well as a centre back because obviously David Alaba has played in those positions throughout his career. 
So it would have been nice to give that other option as well because by looking at these players here, the only differences we've got is quite simply the fact that the defending and the physical is different. Um, in terms of pace, it's good. Shooting is okay. Passing is real nice. Crossing is brilliant. Long passing is very good. Short passing is brilliant. Dribbling is brilliant for a centre-back. Really good agility and balance. Incredible reactions, ball control, composure, and good dribbling. So it comes down to the defending and physical, right? What traits do we have? Long shot taker and long shot taker. So they really haven't done much with this David Alaba other than changing the defending and physicals. Um, compared to this one, what have they reduced? They've reduced his shooting compared to his base gold card. Um... Yeah, just his shooting. I tell you what, I, I like the fact that this at David Alaba can become lengthy with an anchor. I know, I like, I know it's frustrating that having lengthy players is becoming the th almost like meme this year, right? It's like, oh, if you're not lengthy, are you even good? And I don't particularly like the fact that lengthy is like so meta and so overpowered. But I do like the fact that it's made other players usable that were previously unusable. But I feel like the balance has completely shifted to the point where the kind of like explosive style players are almost unusable. Not entirely, as were, you know, same with tanks last year. They weren't entirely unusable. Um, I like the fact that this version of David Alaba with an anchor gets ridiculous physicals and defending and very good pace and becomes lengthy and becomes a 92.4 rated centre-back in the middle of October. Do you know how overpowered that is? And being from Real Madrid and La Liga, he's very easy to link. Do you know how overpowered that is? Then you've got this version of David Alaba. His defending is brilliant. Physical is obviously not as good. But with an anchor, he does not become lengthy. He's four strength away. And with a shadow, of course, he doesn't as well. He does become a 92.8 rated centre-back on that shadow, though. Takes him up to 89 acceleration and sprint speed with insane defending. If you did want to make him lengthy, it would have to be an architect, which I just think is a bit pointless because, A, he's got lower stamina than this David Alaba by six. And, B, the passing is already very, very good on, on Alaba that I don't think it really matters all that much. I don't think you need the passing on him. So... Although this David Alaba has better defending by standards, I, I genuinely think the fact that you can apply an anchor to the David Alaba with 87 defending and physical, get mental physicals, mental defending, very good pace, very good passing and dribbling, and make him lengthy, this is the one for me. Let me know who you think you would take down below if you're going to complete it. And let's have a little look at the SBCs and the price of them. So it is just a position modifier, mad upgraded. Oh, this is mad downvoted. I'm very surprised this mad downvoted. I know there's a lot of good centre backs in the game this year, but I don't think people quite understand just how good this David Alaba is. If we compare him to Rudiger, who's 100k. He's got way more dribbling, way more passing, better skill moves, better weak foot, way more defending and physical after the anchors applied as well. One less pace. But I, I like, I honestly think, and stamina, way, way, way more stamina as well. I, I don't think that the, the SBC is too badly priced. I do think that there is a clear winner in which one you would take. And I think it's the one, I think it's this one right here. I think this is a David Alaba that I would take, but I don't know. Maybe it's a little a tad overpriced, but I personally think it's a brilliant card. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.